What is good, everyone? Welcome a lot to MDT Vindication, episode number 12. Of course, this is our go-home show for the MDT Royal Rumble. We have tonight's show, one more episode of MDT Live, and then it will be on to the Royal Rumble. We are ready to rumble here tonight as we approach it. But here tonight, I am all alone on commentary. Brad could not make it due to sickness. Nevertheless, the show must go on, and we are going to have an action-packed night here in the MBT Arena. I am Trey, and I will, of course, be commentating all of the action here tonight. We're going to start off our night with a Royal Rumble qualifier between the returning Cesaro taking on The Miz here in a nice matchup, of course. And we have an Iron Man number one contendership going on the line tonight, and a triple threat match should be packed ready to go. And here comes the Swiss Superman. Making his way to the ring from Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Cesaro! One of Brad's personal favorites. I know that he is upset that he will not get to see Cesaro in live action here tonight. Go one-on-one -on -one with The Miz. But I know he's with him at heart. It's going to be interesting. We haven't seen Cesaro in action since his loss to the elite champion, Kenny Omega, in the open challenge at MDT Money in the Bank. So this is a nice matchup for Cesaro. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to think that The Miz is definitely upset. He's going to try to use this match as a rebound after losing his Revolutionary Championship to Adam Cole last week on Vindication. He's got to be out for revenge here against Cesaro. He needs to earn an opportunity at that Royal Rumble spot, and he's got a chance here tonight versus Cesaro. And the bell is rang as both men tie up in the middle of the ring. Cesaro definitely probably has the strength advantage in this matchup over The Miz as he goes one-on-one -on -one here with the Swiss Superman. The Miz smart here trying to get into a, a standing ground matchup instead of on the ground. I, I, I know for sure that Cesaro is definitely stronger than The Miz here. So it's going to be interesting to see here. Miz using his quickness through the legs there. Ducking out of the way of Cesaro. Oh, what a nice knife edge chop there from The Miz here. He's definitely going to need an awesome effort tonight if he wants to take down Cesaro, trying to qualify for that Royal Rumble. As you see the agility on display. And here comes the strength of Cesaro. As both men back to their feet here. A nice strike from Cesaro to the back of the skull. Sending the Miz into the corner here. And a nice uppercut by Cesaro. No, he's known for those. And another nice shot into the corner. Cesaro building up some momentum here. On here he comes with a huge uppercut into the corner, taking out The Miz. My God, what an uppercut. The Miz escapes very smartly there as The Miz escapes, but Cesaro's eyeing him from inside the ring here. Oh, and Cesaro, I think Cesaro may have some points here. He's making his way all the way around the ring. Here comes Cesaro. Oh, and a huge uppercut from Cesaro. The Switch Superman with the strength on display here. Quickly picking The Miz back up and throwing him inside the ring. Very smart here. We can see a cover. Oh, I, I think Cesaro may be thinking high risk here as he's coming off the top with a crossbody. Nice crossbody. We got a cover. And the Miz powers out there. Cesaro that close to punching his ticket to the MDT Royal Rumble. Both men battling here. The Miz coming off that fresh revolutionary championship loss to Adam Cole. Trying to avenge it here. And a nice takedown to the back by Cesaro. Miz coming back across. Oh, and Miz now. Miz now on the offense. He's got some life here against Cesaro. Oh, and the knee straight to the crotch of Cesaro here. No one. Miz looking for that big DDT. Oh, he lands it. Miz, Miz could be punching his ticket to the Royal Rumble. And Cesaro stays alive. Going to take more than that to put away the Swiss Superman. They don't call him Superman for nothing. 
Both men back to their feet here as Miz battling with Cesaro. Nice kick to the sternum. Oh, looking for a big suplex. Nice suplex by the Miz there to lift the Swiss Superman over his head. So Miz now awaiting Cesaro in the corner. I think he's waiting for him to get in a certain position here. Cesaro is definitely uh, stood still for a moment as here comes the Miz with a big clothesline. Good job by the Miz there into the corner on Cesaro. And I think Miz is taking a climb here. I don't know what he may be thinking. And here comes Miz off the top. Oh my God, what a huge uppercut by, by Cesaro. Here's the cover. And that is it. The Swiss Superman punches his ticket to the MDT Royal Rumble. Where will Cesaro land in the Royal Rumble? But he punches his ticket and The Miz will not be a part of the MDT Royal Rumble. What a performance there by the Swiss Superman to rebound after that loss to Kenny Omega at MDT Money in the Bank. It is nice to see this man get some momentum here on Vindication as he wins his one-on-one -on -one matchup with The Miz. When we return, ladies and gentlemen, we will see our general manager, Kenny Omega, out to the ring to make a few announcements. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, letting you guys know that Elite Series 67 is up for pre-order right now at WrestlingFigures.com. Ringside Collectibles, go over there, use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Really awesome set, cannot wait for it. We got Velveteen Dream and Cedric Alexander, and you don't want to miss it. Welcome back to MDT Vindication as we await our interim general manager. And there he comes, the elite champion, the cleaner, Kenny Omega. As we approach closer to the MDT Royal Rumble, it's going to be interesting to find out what the interim general manager and elite champion, leader of Bullet Club, has to say going into the MDT Royal Rumble. Of course, he did insert himself into that Rumble matchup, and he will have to draw out of that random Rumble lottery box on the night of the Rumble. And I cannot wait to see what the cleaner has to say to our fans here tonight. Well, there you have it, folks. Our main event tonight is a revolutionary championship match between Bullet Club members Marty Skrull and the current champion Adam Cole. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here, letting you guys know that the MDT Royal Rumble is just around the corner. Of course, we have one more episode of MDT Live after this episode of Vindication. The winner of the MDT Royal Rumble will go on for a championship opportunity at My Damn Nation. This show will be very big. We're, of course, going to have our 30-man Royal Rumble, a special arena, and everything in between, so you don't want to miss it.
Not sure what's going on with the Miz and Hurricane. What day is today? That's right, you sing it loud and proud, ladies and gentlemen, today is Who said day? And it looks like Rusev and Aiden English, the team of Rusev Day, are going to be sitting ringside for this next matchup, which is a triple threat, number one contender match for the Iron Man Championship, won by Rusev at MBT Sold Out. And tonight we're going to find out, will it be Cody Rhodes, Elias, or Drew McIntyre that goes into the Royal Rumble one-on-one -on -one with Rusev? We are not yet sure what the stipulation will be, but it is going to be exciting to find out who the opponent will be for the man that is Rusev. And here comes the American Nightmare. Making his way to the ring from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 216 pounds, Cody Rose. Cody Rhodes was actually a part of the championship ladder match that Rusev won his Iron Man championship from Drew McIntyre. It was all three men at MDT sold out. Great little matchup between all three men. And Cody Rhodes trying to become that number one contender going into the Royal Rumble to take on Rusev. He feels he was cheating. And here's another man that probably feels cheated out of his own Iron Man championship, Drew McIntyre. Making his way to the ring from Iowa, Scotland, weighing in at 265 pounds, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, probably the strongest one in this matchup as Cody Rhodes, Rude 7, Aiden English all look on here. And hold up, what the hell is that? Is that Elias? Oh my God, and he busts, the, he busts Cody Rhodes over the skull of that guitar from behind. In a triple threat match, though, there is no rules, and the, the ref rings the bell here. We're, we're going to continue this match right now. And a Rusev and Elias getting into it on the outside. Oh, but here comes Drew McIntyre coming over the top. And the athleticism by Drew McIntyre on display. My God, what a move. The madness that is the Ironman Championship here. Elias back in the ring. Aiden English trying to console Rusev, the champion. Drew McIntyre awaiting Elias in the ring. And oh my god, here comes a big Claymore! He hit him with the Claymore. Drew McIntyre going to become the number one contender right here. Uh, oh, Aiden English. Aiden English interrupts the pin. He's paying Drew back here. Aiden English thwarts the efforts of a Rusev behind. Oh my god, what a kick to the skull. Drew McIntyre may be out cold here. Rusev taking it out on Drew McIntyre. My God, what a kick, and Aiden English bowing down to Rusev. And Cody Rhodes from out of nowhere going for the cover. And that is it, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is your number one contender for the Iron Man Championship. My God, what did we just witness, ladies and gentlemen? Drew McIntyre attack from behind, a kick to the head. Aiden English costing Drew McIntyre his number one contendership and Rusev paying back Drew McIntyre for that flip over the top rope. What, what in the hell just happened here? What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys telling you to go over to our Instagram page and give us a follow at My Damn Toys. We post really cool customs and all kinds of stuff that we talk about here on the channel over on Instagram, so definitely go give us a follow over there.
modeling and fashionista industry. Outfit-based defenses are considered especially repulsive. Dedicated garment gun shooters who investigate these four paws are members of an elite squad known as the Fashion Police. These are their stories. <laughs> So a member of the MDT Vindication roster is coming back from injury. The fashion police are trying to figure out who the sheep man is. And it's time for a revolutionary championship main event here tonight. Here comes the villain. Making his way to the ring from Cambridge, playing at 195 pounds, Marty Skrull. This is obviously the debut of the villain, Marty Skrull, here on Vindication. And what a debut, he's taking on Adam Cole, his own Bullet Club brother, who he actually assaulted with the Money in the Bank briefcase last week, causing Kitty Omega to try and settle their differences here tonight in this matchup. Announced earlier by Omega, and we're gonna see here tonight if we crown a new revolutionary champion, or will Adam Cole prove himself here versus his brother Marty, Marty Skrull. Should be a very intense effort as these two family members go head to head. Making his way to the ring from Panama City, Florida, weighing at 210 pounds, he is the MDT Revolutionary Champion, Adam Cole! And here comes the MDT Revolutionary Champion, Adam Cole. Now I think that Adam Cole would have to be a little hostile towards Marty Skrull. After what happened last week, he got obliterated in the skull with that Money in the Bank briefcase, and the fight had to be broken up by the Bullet Club. And me and Brad were discussing that I don't think the Bullet Club knew what was going to happen. Marty Skrull just sort of acted alone and took out Adam Cole by himself, and that, uh, of course, led to this matchup here tonight for the Revolutionary Championship, trying to see, trying to weed out the weakness, trying to settle all the differences so Bullet Club can be strong moving forward. I'm quite shocked by this. Adam Cole reaching out a hand here, and both Marty and Adam Cole going to hug it out in the middle of the ring. I guess the, the differences are settled here as we begin this matchup between two brothers, and, and they're circling around, and we're ready to go here in this matchup as both men tie up. You would have thought that Adam Cole would be pretty pissed off at Marty, but I guess that's just what brothers do. You know, you get in arguments, you fight each other all the time. I know I assault Brad on a daily basis, and then everything is fine. You know, brothers tend to do that here as both men trying to wrestle around and get the upper hand. And Marty Skrull sort of battling here, got him under the neck. Oh, and a nice suplex there by Marty Skrull early on in this matchup here. You know, both men have to know. Oh, look for the big backbreaker. And a nice move early on by Marty Skrull here. He's got, he's got the upper hand delivering multiple knees here to the left arm of Adam Cole. Trying to get some damage in early. And Marty Skrull tying him up here, looking for a submission move. Oh, he's got it locked in. Adam Cole already struggling early on in this matchup. Marty Skrull got it locked in tight here. Adam Cole struggling, trying to crawl his way to the ropes. And he does make it to the ropes, forcing Marty Skrull to break the hole. 
Marty coming out very hot, very intense early here in his debut match on Vindication as he's coming back across the, the ropes. Adam Cole flipping him over onto the apron here. Oh, and a nice super kick by Adam Cole, nearly knocking Marty off the apron, trying to near himself here. Here comes Adam Cole. What is he thinking here? Oh my God, as he flips over and a massive power bomb off the apron. My God, what a move by Adam Cole as he power bombs his brother Marty right off the apron. Revolutionary Championship on the line here, doing whatever it takes to secure his title. And a huge knife edge chop. And another huge knife edge chop. I think that both men are coming out intense. Whether they're family or not, whether they're teammates or not, they're going right at each other, telling you, you know what, Brad, you're going to get everything I got here. This is my championship, and you're not going to get it that easily here. As Adam Cole focusing on the right, or the left knee, I should say, of Marty Scrolls, he bounces it off that apron. So the left arm of Adam Cole and the left knee of Marty Scurll is a story here. Is Adam Cole trying to pick Marty back up? Oh, he's loads him up onto his shoulders here. Flipping him over. Oh, but Marty Scurll reverses it here. He's got the chicken wing locked in. Oh, he's got that chicken wing locked in tight. Very nice, innovative move by Marty Scurll here. We can, we can see a new champion, Adam Cole, clinging. Adam Cole trying to fight out of it here. Oh, he's... He's trying to flip over here. Oh, he flips over. We got a cover. Oh, and we almost had a new champion. Very nice move there by Adam Cole, forcing Marty Skrull to release that chicken wing lock. If he did not uh, try to, you know, pin Marty Skrull in that predicament, we could have seen, oh, not the finger snap. Oh, that is just gross as he grips the fingers. And Marty Skrull looking for a big move, and Adam Cole, oh, and a nice fight out of there, but oh my god the Essex Destroyer the Essex Destroyer, what a move by Marty Skrull, here comes the cover and a kick out by Adam Cole, what a beautiful sequence there by Adam Cole the super kick to Skrull, but Skrull very nice awareness to reverse it into the Essex Destroyer we have never seen that here in MDT as he awaits Adam Cole, oh my god, he super kicked the referee square in the face. And now Marty Skrull from behind, has got that chicken wing locked in. Adam Cole fighting. Adam Cole clinging to life. He's barely hanging on, but the referee is knocked out. Cole, oh, Adam Cole. Adam Cole's tapping out, but the referee, the referee is unaware. He's unconscious after that super kick. Marty Skrull ducks up under the super kick, and Adam Cole delivers a massive super kick to the referee's dome, and he is out cold. Marty Skrull could be your new champion, but Adam Cole is unconscious now after that chicken wing. And oh, what is Marty Skrull thinking now? He's got the Bullet Club Money in the Bank briefcase that Adam Cole won way back at Money in the Bank. And what is what is Marty? Oh, he's turning the head of the referee just in case he was able to see. And he's not even done with Adam Cole now. As the referee's unconscious. Marty Skrull looking for the... Oh, my God, a pile driver. No! Oh my God, Marty Skrull with a huge pile driver to the briefcase. This is just, this is ballistic. You don't do that to your brother. If that was his brother, why would he, why would he pile drive his head into that briefcase? He's going for the cover. The referee crawling. No, Marty Skrull is your new revolutionary champion. Marty Skrull has done it. He has defeated Adam Cole. He made him tap to the chicken wing, but the referee was unconscious. So then he takes matters into his own hands. And, and now Kenny Omega making his way out to the ring. What the hell is Kenny Omega doing? Our interim GM. And now look at Marty Skrull. He's checking on Adam Cole like he didn't just pile drive his head in onto that Money in the Bank briefcase. And now the whole Bullet Club is here. This is absolute madness. Marty Skrull, your new revolutionary champion. And Marty holding up the hand of Adam Cole. I, I don't understand.
Oh, look out from behind. Call a strike from the revolutionary champion. And the title belt bounces square off the skull of Adam Cole. What the hell is this sick assault on Adam Cole? This is just sick. This is just making me sick to my stomach. Maurice Scurll now lifting the neck of Adam Cole with his umbrella. This is supposed to be your brother here. Oh my God, a double super kick to the lifeless dome. The face of Adam Cole just getting obliterated by the Bucks. And now what is Kenny Omega doing? He's loading up Adam Cole. Oh my God, one winged angel into the canvas. This is just sickening. And the Bullet Club has fully assaulted and fired Adam Cole. He is officially no longer a member of the Bullet Club as they all surround him and bury him with Marty Skrull's jacket. Marty Skrull is your new revolutionary champion. We are on the way to the MDT Royal Rumble. This is just sick.